All right, friends, it's time for the animal of the day. Today's animal of the day is Corydalus cornutus. Class. You might learn on time. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. It's known by the common name of the Helgramite. It's a cute little animal, but um, it's cute because it's just a baby version of the more beautiful and graceful Dobson fly. Oh, look at that cute little. So the Helgramet is what we call the larva. The Dobson fly is the adult. And yes, it goes through complete metamorphosis. It makes a pupa, pupates, and emerges as a beautiful Dobson fly, the Helgramite. And why is it today's animal of the day? Because we're gonna go looking for them in Button Brook. In fact, we're gonna look for a bunch of different animals today. Um, and the reason we're gonna look for different animals is not every animal can handle, not every animal can handle pollution. And so, what we're hoping to do is find in Button Brook animals. We're gonna capture them, and we're hoping to find a lot of the ones that can, um, that don't like pollution, which means they're only there if there's less pollution, right? And so Helgramite is one of those kinds of animals, right? What could be polluting Button Brook? I mean, it used to be the dump for the school. It's a bunch of, there's like a housing development back there. Um, people put pesticides on their lawns. They put they use weed killer. Um, what else do they do? They have pets that they let go to the, de you know, defecate in their yards and all that stuff gets washed into our watershed. And of course, Button Brook is moving water. The water moves eventually into the um, Lake Champlain and then that water moves north into Canada and then eventually east into um, the Atlantic through the St. Lawrence River. So yeah, the stuff that winds up in our water uh, can travel for thousands of miles and affect lots of other living things. So today uh, I'll be taking the in-person kids outside into the stream. So they're gonna they're gonna see. Uh, and we're gonna our go our goal today is just to capture as many. That's gonna be our part two. If you're at home, you won't have a part two, but we want to capture as many animals as we can. We're gonna collect them in uh, our little bins, and then we're going to. Um, take some pictures of them and then let them go, catch and release. Because we don't need to keep them or dissect them. We just need to know how many different kinds of animal, like in this picture right here, there's, this is a stonefly. Here's a water penny. There's the animal of the day, the Helgramite. This is what's called a crane fly. So there's at least one, two, three, four different animals uh, that we captured in this picture. And then, so we're gonna evaluate how healthy the stream is. Okay, so that's today we're going to go into the stream the project stream team. So right now, um, in this video, I want you to make a prediction. Do you want to make a prediction? Do you think that our stream, Button Brook, is healthy, kind of healthy, not really healthy, terrible, terrible, gross, right? So make the prediction now, and then uh, we'll head on outside. 